Hi, welcome back to the Spring Boot tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the at request mapping annotation. So at request mapping annotation is not specific to Spring Boot application. It is a part of the Spring framework and it is one of the most commonly used and widely used annotation. So let's discuss about this at request mapping annotation with an example. So what is the purpose of at request mapping annotation? So at request mapping annotation is used to map the web request onto a specific handler classes or the handler methods. So at request mapping can be applied to the controller class as well as the methods. So let's understand with a simple words. Let's assume that we are creating a spring application and inside the spring web application, we do a lot of web requests. Okay, so the requests like get user, get customer, get employee and get student. So for every web request, we have to run some code. We have to do a certain operation. So in order to execute some code for each and every web request, we have to map those web requests to a specific methods or a specific classes. So in order to do that, we are going to use at request mapping annotations on the class level on the method level. Okay, so it has the following optional options like the name, value, method and headers. Okay, so let's assume that uh, we have annotated the add request mapping annotation on the class level and we have added the URI as slash users and inside the method level we have again added the add request mapping annotation and we have added the URI as slash user. So once we added the add request mapping annotation on the class level and the path would be like for this get user the path would be URI path would be localhost colon 8080 slash users slash user. The path is relative to this URI which is localhost colon 8080 slash users slash user but if we don't add the add request mapping at the class level if we directly add it to the method level then the request would be the URI request would be localhost colon 8080 slash user the path would be absolute absolute to this method localhost colon 8080 slash user the path would be relative only if at request mapping annotation is added at the class level. Okay, again, the best way to understand this is by looking at the example. So let's jump into our Spring tool suit. And I have already created a method or sorry, I have already created a Spring Boot project, which is request mapping. And inside the source main Java, let's go ahead and create a new package. Inside this, I'm going to create a new class. User controller. Let's annotate this class with the at rest controller. Let's add the at request mapping at the class level. slash users inside the method let's add public string get user I'm also going to add add request mapping annotation at the method level let's add slash user so inside this I'm going to just return success let's import the address controller request mapping and let's save this so now in order to execute this method in order to map this uri the uri would be localhost slash users slash user because we have added the add request mapping at the class level and the path would be relative to this method. We have to use slash users slash user. Let's go to the main class. Run 
on the application run as spring boot application all right the application is started let's go to the postman and let's add localhost colon 8080 slash users slash user click send we should we should get a success as the response okay so this is about the add request mapping annotation so let's actually remove this add request mapping at the class level from the class level and now we have add request mapping annotation only at the method level okay so i have already we have discussed there are optional options to this request mapping one is the value so the value is nothing but the uh, the uri the path so we can also provide a multiple paths we have to use the curly braces which is an array slash user we can also use slash user one also we can use slash user two we can use the multiple paths we can also provide a one more option which is method by default the method will be get method in case if you are using the post method then you can specify with the method option request method which is an enum type dot get so let's save this so now let's go to the postman and you can try for slash users slash user we will get an error you can see 404 not found because we have removed the add request mapping from the class level so now the path should be absolute to this method so localhost colon 8080 slash user now this will work it will return success you can also try for slash user one it will return again the success you can try for user two click send it will return the send so that's it that's all about the request mapping i hope you enjoyed this video and do check out my website to know more about the spring annotations explanation bushansirgur.in which is my blog thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video